Hey everyone, welcome back to The Vegan View. On today's episode, we are gonna be doing round two of our vegan chicken taste test. Yummy. We tried to find all the vegan chicken on the market. We looked for Impossible Foods. They have a new vegan chicken nugget, but we couldn't find it. It is oh. literally impossible. impossible. To find. <laughs> they're allegedly at a lot of places, but they're not. Yeah, they're not there. But we searched. Y'all, we have to do a part three of this. Yeah, we yeah. have to do a there part are so, are so many, many on the market. So I many. I can't we're believe that best. we found this many new ones yeah. that were not a part of our last episode. Exactly. It's crazy. It's crazy. And we could actually do a part three. So right. should we start just yeah. down the line? Let's, yeah, let's get into it. With the better chew? Sure. Okay. So this is the better chew uh, shredded chicken, plant-based chicken substitute, 18 grams of protein per serving, 180 calories if you care per serving. What's in it? The Soy, water, um, sulfate, canola oil, nutritional yeast flakes, sea salt, spices. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. very almost, simple. Yeah. There's almost nothing in here, actually. Yeah, yeah. that looks brand new. Oh, like, so that servings, looks... this is actually really high in protein too there's two servings per container mm. so half of this is 18 grams of protein wow just wow that's pretty awesome. decent this right. yeah. almost on appearance have you guys ever had yuba skins before yeah i think so yeah like tofu skins that's uh-huh. what it looks like Thank to you. me smell first okay it smells like nutritional yeast yeah it, it definitely kinda, smells yeah, like does. nutritional yeast mm-hmm. yeah uh-huh. in a good way yeah yeah okay, okay. Cheers. cheers mm. Mmm. I like it. It kind of tastes like Yuba. Like it yeah, does. It does. That's really good. I feel like this would be good to like attempt to make like shredded chicken maybe. Mm. Yeah. Like you could like, like break tacos? it apart and season it. Yes, for tacos. tacos? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd, be, yeah. that'd be great. Because it yeah. does say shred, shred. So I think that's kind of the intention. Oh, like if okay. you were to marinate it. Like yeah. mm-hmm. it definitely has that same texture. I like that. Mm, yeah. Of shredded chicken. Like, that's mm-hmm. a hard texture to imitate, and it definitely, I think it does a good job. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Yeah. 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 I feel like it's a little chewy. I know it says that, so I mm-hmm. can't fault it for it because it's meant to be chewy. <laughs> and it's meant to be shreddy. So, I mean, yeah, that being said, 8 out of 10. Yeah, I was going to say 8 out of 10, too. Yeah. I feel like there's, there may be room for improvement still, but yeah. it's, it's a really great option. I mean, it's not lying. It, it is what it says. Yeah. yeah. So. Eight out of ten, I would definitely get that again. Yeah. 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 Eight out of ten for sure. It, it's, I mean, like you said, there's always room for improvement, but it's the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure that they will improve the formula. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it can really be good. It's so yeah. good. This is the Nugs Spicy Simulate Chicken, and it has water, soybean oil, textured wheat protein, soy protein concentrate, breadcrumbs, and then a bunch of, like, spices and stuff, but... Yeah, soy protein, wheat protein. Okay. Standard for okay. vegan chicken, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's this one. It's definitely crispy on the outside. It's I like crispy. that it says spicy. Yeah. Okay. It has like a... Okay. <laughs> I'm not crazy about the smell on site. It but... reminds me of... The smell kind of like reminds me of the McDonald's chicken nugget. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It has yeah, a fast, yeah. fast foodie yeah, smell. Yeah, which, which is yeah. good, I think. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to imitate that, then yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Mmm. The spice is there. Yeah, I like the little kick. It's spicy. Yeah, for it's sure. spicy. Oh my god. That's spicy. Mm. Is it too spicy, spicy for you? to you? Oh, that's right. It doesn't right. hit me yet. No. Oh, like what? a little bit. Like a little bit, yeah. Ooh, it's like really It keeps gumming. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> I do like that Ooh. spice. I'm not wow. gonna lie. I don't like the spice. Oh my god. It really just like builds it. in your mouth. It's good. I like it. Let me try it with some ketchup. (laughs) I like the breading. I don't feel like the inside is, um, it's just like a little thin on the inside. Like there's not a lot of filling. Mm -hmm. Whereas like we just came off of, you know, this last taste test eating the Gardein Ultimate Strips, which are like packed with the chicken. Yeah. And and they also have good breading. Mm. I feel like this could have a little more filling, but the breading is good. Like the breading is spot on. 
Okay, this one's too spicy for me, though. Yeah. I would get the... Do they have a regular one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would do. get the regular. I, I feel g- like the inside doesn't really have a flavor. Or yeah. The texture's a little mushy. Mm-hmm. It's almost like everything's on the outside. Yeah. 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 But then it just feels like I'm eating, like, batter. I yeah. see But sometimes I don't like a... Ch- I don't like a lot of chicken. I don't think it's bad. I would like it more if it was fatter. If there was yeah. more actual, like, meat in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... And the spice, like, I'm not too much of a spice fan either, but I think it's, like, an okay amount. Like, it's not killing me. It's really spicy for me, too, and I yeah. eat spicy food. But it's, I like, almost some of them are maybe more spicy than maybe. others. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got an yeah. unspicy yeah. I got a, one. I got a mild but, one, probably. Yeah. I don't know what it is about the inside. It's, like, kind of mushy. Like, I guess I, I was expecting a little more texture. At least compared to, like, the Guardian Ultimate, it's, like, you get that, like, chickeny mm-hmm. texture in your mouth. With that, it's just uh, kind of, like, I see what mush. you're saying. Yeah. 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 yeah, that one is more so about the breading. The flavor's on the outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like yeah. it, though. I like the spice. I, I think I give it, like, a 6 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I'm, like, neutral about it. I think there's just so many great options. Like, I would reach for the Guardian Ultimate. I would reach for the 365 Nuggets before I would reach for that. So... I, I think I would try probably the regular kind, but the spicy is a little too spicy, and it's just, I don't know, just compared to what else is out there. Does the Ultimate have a spicy one? Mm-mm. Oh, I don't know. if they. That know. would probably be nice. I think oh that's what gosh. I love about this one, just the spiciness. Spicy. So it's going to get a 7 for me just for the spiciness, but mm-hmm. if the Ultimate had spice, Ugh. that would trump it. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Do it, Guardian. I think... Like you said, there's so many options, as you can see. We're, like, on our second video of taste testing this. There's, like, ten other types of nuggets that I would reach for before I reach for those. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably give them, like, a five out of ten just purely for, you know, existing and being (laughs) spicy. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if you find them and that's your only option. Yeah. yeah, Then, yeah. 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 To be fair, for the amount of ingredients in here, you'd think you'd have, like, a really good chicken nugget. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you know, if you're going to have that much stuff in it, like, it better be, like... The like yeah. the Worth chicken yeah. nuggets yeah. to go for. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So next we have these Dr. Prager's, um, and these are the kids' chicken little. So cute. So cute. Yeah. So they're shaped. No. Yeah. Fun farmyard shapes. Oh. Oh, that's fun. So some of them are like. I was wondering. Shape. That's cute. That's super cute. That's they're, these, huh? They're for kids, but they're not that much smaller. No. Yeah. yeah. They're not. And these have hydrated pea protein blend. Uh, rice coating, rice flour. Oh, these are gluten free, I believe. So it has carrot puree, butternut squash puree, sweet potato puree, oat fiber. So it's like sneak those veggies. Yeah, yeah. To I the love kids. that. No, it's like all. Oh, so it's these, yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know what this is. Doesn't have a super strong Thank smell. You. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't smell like much. Yeah. But it's crispy. Nice crispy it's outside. Crispy. Yeah, yeah. It's very crispy. <clears throat> yeah, rice flour is so good for that. Mm. Cheers. 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 Mm. There's a lot happening. Mm-hmm. To be honest, though, I like the inside texture and flavor of this more than the nugs. Me too. More going on. And after you read the ingredients, I know that I know what I'm eating and I know that it's healthy. This is really good. I like it. I like it. Mm. If you're trying to replace your, like, fast food, chicken nuggets, and mm-hmm. stuff like that, like, no, there's better. But to have so many good ingredients, and, like, mm. especially if you're talking about giving it to kids and just, like, mm-hmm. sneaking in those veggies, mm-hmm. and, yeah. like, this is good. Like, mm-hmm. I would yeah, have loved this good. as a kid. Yep, pretty good. I would still eat it today, honestly, just to feel less guilty about my chicken nugget mm-hmm. habit. It's not, it's not giving me my that chicken nugget feel, though. Yeah. It, do, it really doesn't taste too chickeny. Mm-mm. Yeah. But the texture's good. The it's like flavor's thicker. good. It's just I don't get the chickenness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get, yeah. like, these little bites. I don't know, like, little snack yeah. bites. Mm-hmm. Which is, it's good, but mm-hmm. if I want, like, a chicken nugget, yeah. I probably wouldn't reach for that. But if I want a healthy little snack. I'm going to mm-hmm. give it a 6 out of 10. I think the flavor is, like, a key component to why you have chicken nuggets, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you yeah. want, like, a good flavor. And then, but the texture's good. It's nice and it's thick. It's, like, just touching it feels, like, really crispy. It feels, it's the, it's the whole chicken nugget experience mm-hmm. yeah. when, you, when you're touching it. So, I think six out of ten. Mm. I think I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I think they're really good. Honestly, if I had kids, I would probably buy those often as, like, an emergency snack or just, like, something to keep in the in the freezer and I would probably end up eating them a lot myself so I, don't, I would buy them again I like them I don't think that they're 
in terms of like being the best chicken nugget replacement, meh, they're not really yeah. a chicken nugget replacement, but they're tasty and I like healthy. I like that they're healthy, they're gluten free, yeah. like yeah. I don't know what to give it like a six. <laughs> it's good. It's just I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I would give it a seven just because I like that there's so many good ingredients in it. But if I'm gonna go for a chicken nugget, I'm gonna go for the Guardian Ultimates still. Mm-hmm. And yet <laughs> yeah. to taste something that would compare um but just having something in your freezer that's a little bit healthier and you can reach for and throw in the air fryer and not feel as guilty and honestly a lot of those other chicken nuggets are like filled with all sorts of stuff that make you feel kind of heavy yeah Yeah. that makes you feel light yeah yeah Yeah. it's a light snack so seven out of ten for me yeah it's good so next up we have the nowadays nuggets which i haven't heard of until today very excited to try they have seven ingredients which they have written on the box here and those ingredients are filtered water yellow pea protein whole wheat flour sunflower oil yeast extract maple fiber and mushroom extract oh. so, that's really interesting very excited i love that i know what everything is yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so what? simple it's still so yeah. it's still so interesting how they put it together right like if yeah. i had all seven of those ingredients it's like okay now what yeah. how do we, <laughs> how do how do we make, make that it? this <laughs> get out of that? look at that it looks so crispy Ooh, yeah. it smells bomb look at that Mm. And it's like, it looks juicy. Oh my God. That smells like chicken. Oh my God. That yeah. texture. Has that gamey kind of smell. Oh, my oh God. yeah. Oh okay. my God. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Smell? I'm Ready? excited. I'm Cheers. excited. Cheers. Whoa. Whoa. Mm-mm. Oh, it's so moist and. Mm. It's juicy. It tastes like fried chicken. It does. This reminds me of the soy, the, the yuba. Right? Is mm-hmm. that what it's called? Yeah, Yuba. It's like super moist and flavorful. Oh my god. These are so good. It's juicy. Mm-hmm. Oh my juicy. god. So the first ingredient is filtered water. Mmm. That's not fly. I think it's too watery. Oh, I like it. I, I like, like it. it too. Like I don't know that I like like the like the water juice <laughs> going down my lip when I bite into a chicken nugget. Love it. Oh like, my I god. don't want it to be too dry either, but this is like I just think oh it's God. so unique. Mm. Like, we don't have anything that's, like... Yeah. Like, remember eating fried chicken and it was all juicy? Mm-hmm. Like, this is, like, mm. giving me that feeling. Mm-hmm. And the, f- the breading, the flavors on the breading is so good. Wow. That's really good. Wow. And it's pretty plain. Like, there's no seasoning. It is yeah. pretty so, like, plain. I would probably add my own little garlic powder, oh, salt yeah. and pepper. Mm. That is so good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Nowadays. Organic yellow peas. I'm going to give it a six and a half. Maybe a seven. Between 6.8 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I don't really love the wateriness to it, but you might. Um, I do like the texture, how it feels. I'll, it feels good. It feels kind of like the Dr. Prager's. Just feels, you know, like a nugget. Concur with joy. Kind of plain, but it can be dressed up, I guess. It kind of, okay, it kind of tastes like a gluten free chicken nugget would taste, if that makes sense. But there's gluten in it. <laughs> so, I don't know, be better. Just be slightly better because there's gluten in it. I, um, that's it. That's what I'm <laughs> I like it a lot. I don't know. It's. I think it's unlike anything else that we've tried. Like, it's very unique. Like, there are so many vegan chickens out there that we can make three full episodes on it. So, the fact that this is one that we're, like, all kind of, like, whoa. Like, that's not, like, anything we've tried I think they're doing something innovative, and I like that it's really simple ingredients. I know that ev- I know everything that's in the wow. ingredients, mm-hmm. so I'm not gonna feel super guilty for eating yeah. like a whole plate of these. Wow! Yeah. And I could see what you mean about the texture. Like I think Yuba, it, it, that's what it reminds me of. And I know not everybody loves Yuba, but for me, I kind of like that like slippery, yeah, mm, I love spongy it. kind of texture. Yeah. And I just think the breading too is just it's also very different from the other ones that oh. we've had. Like it's. It's like you know, crumbly. It's and the it. texture is very fried chickeny. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. It's so. What good. do you? What do you oh, mean? did I rate it? Oh, I'm gonna give it. Uh, I think an eight and a half. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half too. It like, oh, remember fried chicken? How it used to be all greasy mm-hmm. and like. Yeah. Oh, like I would smother that with hot sauce. Ooh, I love yeah. this. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Buffalo chicken. Or buffalo oh, my God. Yeah. Buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce. Yeah. That would be amazing with some Like, it could just be, like, some buffalo bites. Like, that. you could cut yeah. it in half and, like, make Ooh. some. Oh. It's oh, so yeah. good. 
It's yeah. eat, na- eat nowadays. <laughs> eat nowadays. <laughs> now. 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 Now a day. <laughs> now. Wow. Yeah, I, I love it. I think that, uh, you know, a lot of vegan products have blown up so fast over the past, like, I don't know, five years yeah. or so. There's, like, so much on the market. But, you know, getting super excited about it and stuff, you kind of, like, forget. You don't pay attention to how processed things can be. Yeah. And a lot of people's argument nowadays is how processed all this vegan stuff is. Mm-hmm. So to be able to, like... Pun yes, intended. pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> but to like see something like this that is like seven ingredients, it's very simple and it still tastes so good. Mm-hmm. And I can eat this now and like not feel as guilty. Yeah. yeah. I I really appreciate it. And like you said, it kind of took me back like that first bite. Literally both yeah. of us were like, whoa. Because it that it instantly made me it's so good. It reminded me of like when you would bite into a piece of fried chicken and yeah. like, it's yeah. like greasy and, and juicy. juicy. Yeah. So, yeah. Honestly, nowadays. Yeah. Nine out of ten. That's nine something I would keep in my mm-hmm. freezer. Yeah. yeah. So next we have Morning Star Farms. Um, this is non-GMO soy colors and, and flavors from natural sources. Um, this also has a good amount of ingredients: water, wheat flour, soy protein, vegetable oil, so soy protein isolate. Contains two or less mm-hmm. percent of uh, wheat gluten, yellow corn flour potato starch, yeast extract, sugar, salt, natural flavors, wheat starch. So it's like a good, a good amount of seasoning, so it's pr- probably tasty. So not gluten-free, not soy-free. And these are called the veggie chicken nuggets. I will say whenever I see like Morningstar products, like I make sure that it's vegan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause... Yeah, because some aren't, right, mm-hmm. still, right? Or are they all vegan now? No. I think they're making their way towards being all yeah. vegan, but they still have some products that yeah. are. They yeah, they do. I think they're, they're the ones that have that like bacon, right? Yeah. The that has like the white swirls in it. Yeah. And is that vegan? It, it, no, it has like eggs in it or something. Mm. Yes. Yeah, it's eggs. So it's got yeah, it feels like vegetarian. 13 grams of protein for four chicken nuggets. Mm. Which is not too bad. Okay. So it feels pretty fat yeah. yeah it feels nice so uh just feeling it it feels like nice and bready and you have like the breadcrumbs like kind of falling off so that's like a, a good sign mm-hmm. and it's like fat it smells good yeah smells good smell. Smell nice. okay morning star let's see yeah. let's cheers. see cheers cheers i like this better than nowadays i really do it's not giving me anything yeah it it's very bland at first, I liked the texture. I was like, ooh, that texture is nice. And then I chew, and I'm like, I don't taste anything. Yeah. Like, there's really no flavor. No salt. Yeah, there's literally no flavor. I really like the texture, And it's got though. a lot of ingredients. It should, it should be flavorful it should for be that flavorful, many ingredients. Yeah. This is exactly what I expected from Morning Star. <laughs> I feel like I've had these in the past, and I, I feel like I was excited about them at the time. Now that Gardein has Ultimate and mm. like the nowadays, like there's just, I'm sorry, they're just not good. They're just better. I think the texture's so good, Morningstar, if you could just add a little bit more flavor. They're not. A little s- bit more flavor? <laughs> <laughs> just <Yeah>. any. <laughs> any, fl- any, any flavor. Any flavor. Pick your flavor. <laughs> any flavor. <laughs> Salt, garlic, onion, anything. Paprika. Nutritional. Paprika. Yeah. To me, this might feel the best. It might have the best texture. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it is like, considering how many ingredients are in there, it is kind of plain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't even finish it. <laughs> and that says a lot. I do like the texture, though. Mm. It's so <clears throat> texture's good. that, like, yeah. something so easy to fix is missing. Yeah, yeah. If they can modify it. That would, be a, that would be a really good option. Yeah. And I will say, like, the ones that I always get, because I've had these before, but I've had the ones that are, like, spicy, uh, buffalo-flavored or whatever. So oh. I actually do like those. Because there's they, some okay. flavor. Because there's some flavor. I've never tried them plain like this, and they're just, like, I mean, the yeah. texture's great. It is. Yeah. But literally zero flavor but try the spicy ones okay, okay. or if this is your only <laughs> option it's not yeah. terrible just, yeah just put yeah. salt on it <laughs> you yeah. just have to do some work Something. seasoning flavor like, you can get by with like a bomb like dripping, dripping sauce yeah mm-hmm. yeah like a ranch or something it's growing on me a little yeah <laughs> the texture is there the texture it's is really good. close i think yeah. i think the texture is one of my favorites yeah but what are we yeah. rating it i think i'm gonna give it a six it's a little bit better than like middle of the road but like really come on like if you can add some seasonings you'd be up mm. higher for sure i'm gonna give it a four it's not something i would recommend to someone i wouldn't get it if i was at the grocery store i would just be like <laughs> yeah. oh no nuggets for me i'm gonna get something else <laughs> but it's edible mm-hmm. you see i'm still eating it it's growing on me a little bit but yeah 
I feel like I would give it like a six and a half just because if it is your only option and Morningstar is all you can find in the grocery store yeah. and you're really craving some nuggets, just get some, like I would yeah. get some buffalo sauce and toss them in buffalo yeah. sauce yeah. and serve them with ranch on the side. Yeah, Probably that would be good. Yeah. I, think, I think I agree with everything you said and that rating. Yeah. It's like yeah. six and a half. Yeah. Next up, we have the Daring Original Pieces. Um, 14 grams of protein, non-GMO, gluten-free, and... Yeah, in the com in the comments of our last chicken taste test, a lot of you mentioned daring, so I'm excited to try. I've never tried. So this has water, soy protein concentrate, sunflower oil, salt, natural flavoring, and then the spices are interesting to me: paprika, pepper, ginger, nutmeg, mace, and cardamom. And I wouldn't have thought that for a chicken nugget. And this is these are the original pieces, but they also have like a lemon herb and a cajun. Ooh. Ooh. And, and then we also have the uh, breaded the version next yeah. yeah. to it. Cheers. 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 I really like these. I love them too. I love mm -hmm. to get the Cajun one and I love to put it in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. And then I love to put it in my kale salad. It's like my little Ooh. kale Caesars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like, I cut it up. Oh my God, so good. And I also love to put it in pasta. Oh, mm -hmm. that's what I've been doing with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll shred it up and put it in a salad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so good. This flavor? Yeah. Uh, this one, the one okay. that's not um, just the plain. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And like a Caesar salad or something. And yeah, it's these, so these good. would be really good in a salad, especially mm -hmm. if they're freshly made. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice. Mm -hmm. And you've seasoned them in some way. Yeah, the other flavors are on point. Like, imagine this with like some lemon garlic olive oil or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Oh my God. This That'd is really good. really good. This is def another one to me that's so unique, like, mm -hmm. unlike anything yeah. else on the mm -hmm. market. Yeah. I could see how if you were a texture person, I, I would think that would be the only thing that would hold you back from liking this because the flavors are really good. It's, like, got enough mm -hmm. going on that mm -hmm. it kind of has, like, a chicken taste, even though chicken, you know, the animal flesh doesn't taste good unless it's seasoned with plants, but mm -hmm. that's a whole other right. mm -hmm. topic. But, yeah, it's just, like, it's yeah. good. Honestly. So they're not nuggets. They're more like strips mm -hmm. and great for salads, I think, and pastas and like what mm -hmm. everybody else said mm -hmm. here, yeah. And you can like spice it up. Like, I wanna get so these good. and I wanna make like jerk chicken Ooh. pasta. Oh. Like, yeah, do that. That'd be fun. Yeah, bad. I wanna do that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so good. It's not too dry. Mm hmm. That's good. I like it a lot. Okay. Mm. What do you rate it? Seven and a half. The flavor is okay. It could be dressed up, it could be really, really good. Texture is. It's a little, I don't want to say rubbery. That's not what it is. It's just, once it cools down, it's a little hard to chew. It's like you have to like really mm. put your teeth into it and like yeah. yank it, which I don't love. So if they could work on that just a tad bit, like that formula, mm -hmm. but that probably means like adding more shit to it, to be honest, mm -hmm. to make it softer for longer. But I like love it in a salad, I think. Yeah. So seven, seven, seven and a half. Um, I don't know. I'm going to give it a nine. I just, I think I really, I kind of like the, it's not super chickeny but I kind of like that about it like it's not trying I mean I it's trying to be chicken but it's not like it says actually it says a thousand percent not chicken so <laughs> maybe it's not trying to be chicken I don't know <laughs> it's, it's good I liked it that's all yeah it's a nine for me this is like one of my favorite vegan chicken products on the market super versatile sponsor me mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> holla <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I get this all the time. It's super versatile. There's so much that you can do with it. Yeah. You can season it in so many different ways. You can toss it in a salad. Like, there's not many chickens that, like, you can't chop up nuggets. I mean, you can, but yeah. I don't want to chop up nuggets and put them in a salad. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just grateful that there's this, like, unique option yeah. now. And I will say, I think that because we waited a while and then they cooled down a little bit, uh -huh. that's why they're a little yeah. tough. But when they're, like, fresh out of the air fryer, they're, oh. like, super, they're Crispy, juicy. Juicy, juicy. Oh. Yeah. They're yeah. really really good so i would give them nine, nine and a half out of ten yeah yeah okay so these are the daring original breaded pieces mm -hmm. they're definitely like a regular size too mm -hmm. which is yeah. interesting they're super oh, bready oh it does smell nice it smells good yeah mm. all right cheers cheers, cheers. Mm. 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 I love eating these with hot sauce. Mm. It's my favorite. Mm. Mm. So it's like peppery and mm -hmm. it's like the perfect amount of salt. Whoa. Crispy. Yeah, garlic, onion. These keep better when they're cold. Ginger, nutmeg, and the plain ones do. Yeah. A lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's less of like a nugget where it's like, you know, mm -hmm. like ground up and more like sh like shredded. Like a tender. Like mm -hmm. it's like a tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a chicken tender. Mm -hmm. That is good. 
Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. I think this is mm-hmm. my favorite one mm-hmm. of this whole lineup. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's toss this in some buffalo sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. See, th- this is this makes me want to, like, lower my rating for the Morning Star because mm-hmm. I'm, like, this dressed up with some buffalo sauce. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. So freaking good. Like, I don't know why you would reach for anything else if, you know, this is an option. I also think you could give this to a non-vegan, even though it says, you know, it's not trying to be chicken, not chicken. Yeah. It really is close. Especially right out of the air fryer. I bet it's fantastic. Even better, yeah. Because this, is, so this was pretty good and it's kind of cold. Yeah. We've been, mm-hmm. we've been tasting everything else. I'm going to give it like eight and a half out of ten or nine, maybe. 8.8. 8. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to give it a nine. Um, the breading is kind of falling off a little bit. That's the only thing that I would, you know, change, I mm. guess. But I think the flavor is there. The texture is there. It is really, mm. really good. So good. Yeah, like I said, I love this as a snack with hot sauce. I'm going to give it an eight. It is kind of weird eating, like, it has ginger, nutmeg, mace, cardamom. Like, it's kind of weird having <laughs> those flavors on a chicken mm-hmm. and a chicken. So oh, It's interesting. It's interesting. So I would love to see them switch it up and put out more flavors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably give it a 9.5 out of 10. The only, the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because it's still, it's so good, but I would still go for the Guardian, Guardian. Ultimate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Which is my only... 10 out of 10 so far yeah so. that's hard to beat that's but this is a very close second it's really good i love yeah. daring really good and finally finally we have the og it's gotten us through a lot <laughs> the very original first mm-hmm. vegan chicken uh is the Gardein lightly seasoned chicken scallopini i've had this plenty of times yeah what's the main ingredient um the main ingredients water soy protein canola oil uh tapioca starch yeast extract cane sugar potato starch mushroom extract onion powder and it just says it contains soy so this is gluten-free yeah yeah it's gluten-free mm. this, okay, looks like, nice. this looks like it would be cool to like bread and like make mm-hmm. like a chicken parmesan mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. oh, yeah. yeah like the like the sandwich we had from crossroads yes. yeah oh my god oh, 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 yeah. is oh this is what they use well there you go wow. it can be it can be done mm-hmm. okay <laughs> cheers. cheers cheers i forgot how good this was mm-hmm. i forgot mm-hmm. nice and chewy moist Love that. So good. Mm-hmm. Really good in pasta. Really good in a sandwich. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I'd have to try it like really crispy or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really good like with some mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. I feel um, like. In the, a salad. If, mm-hmm. you, if you cut it up. This is what I used to use all the time for salads. Yeah. Until I, have, I found daring. I wouldn't say I have this in my freezer all the time, but pretty often I'll, I'll, I'll buy this. Mm-hmm. I'm not crazy about it. Mm-hmm. Now that we know that Crossroads uses this potentially, mm-hmm. I'm like picturing that sandwich and yeah. having that in a sandwich mm-hmm. would be so good. Yeah, you're gonna try that. You know what we should do? We should all make we should make an episode where we pick our favorite meal from our favorite restaurant and like we try to replicate it. Ooh. Oh yeah, Ooh. that'd be yeah. fun. That'd be mm-hmm. fun. That'd be hard. Yeah, not a nugget, not a tender, just kind of like a slab of chicken, but it's like juicy and you could dress it up and you could put it in a lot of things you could use it for a lot yeah, i mean Probably like eight out of ten yeah it's good i was gonna say eight and a half i think the the fact that it's so versatile and that there's not really not there's not really many products out there mm-hmm. if any that, that are exactly like this That's on the market true. it's just nice to have that option like especially because we are fans of crossroads and we know what the chef does with this product there there's so many things that can be done with it so mm-hmm. it, like just plain as is, mm, is that like my favorite thing I've ever eaten? No, but I like the versatility of it. Like mm-hmm. you would add a sauce and you know dress it up, and yeah, that's really nice. I'm gonna give it a five. Uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not bad. It's just not doing anything for me. But I would buy it again just to like see if I could cook it crispier and like mm-hmm. see what I could do with it. But yeah. I'm not, uh, yeah. <laughs> it gives very much like vegan meat, you know? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But I've I really like like in vegan meat. I know like, I, I like enjoy it, too. it. But yeah, I mean I've had this a bunch, and I have accidentally cooked it for a little bit too long and made it a little 
crispy a little bit blackened so (laughs) but I actually really enjoyed it and I used to do this all the time chopped up in a salad also in pasta it's Mm -hmm. just like there's so much you can do with it Mm -hmm. and that's why I like it so I I put this in my toaster oven really times and forgotten about it yeah how did that go don't recommend yeah not edible yeah yeah it's yeah, a, it's okay. It worked for me. I was in. It was in a This pan. is not something just, you would feed a non-vegan. No. Yeah, no. You give not this dress, to the vegans. You this have is, to dress this is definitely a guilty pleasure, but you can make a lot of like really good vegan things with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I think I give it an eight. So what was your you guys' favorite thing we tried today? The, the nowadays and the daring. For me, the daring, mm. the breaded daring. I thought that was pretty mm-hmm. good. I the loved the nowadays. I love. I'm gonna marry the nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> nowadays, we love you. We love you. <laughs> so good, so juicy. Mm. Well, let us know in the comments if you guys have tried any of these. Let us know what we didn't try in either of the first one or the second one, because there is gonna be a third coming your way. And mm-hmm. I want to make sure we cover all the everything. all the chicken, all the, chickens. All the vegan chicken, all of them, and hopefully we can finally get our hands on those impossible nuggets. So yeah. come yeah. on, yeah. Know where we can get them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Make sure to like and subscribe. And comment in the, on this video. <laughs> and uh, answer the questions if you want to join the Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> we'll link all of our social media down below. Come follow us and say hello. Send hey. us a DM. Slide we in those DMs. You. We okay. respond. And, and let us know what, what other videos you guys want to see from us. Yes. All right, guys. This we'll has been see fun. See you next week for another <laughs> <laughs> Have a good week. We'll see you Bye. next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.